Hi, I'm Christopher Schlegel, and I'd like to show you a little bit about jazz chord melody guitar style. What I was doing was playing an old jazz standard, really simple melody and a beautiful chord progression, and I was putting a melody on the top strings. And I was playing bass notes on the lower strings. Then I was filling in the middle strings with chord voicings so that when you have all that stuff happening together, it's a chord melody. Let's have a little bit closer look at it. The melody starts in the key of B flat major. We start with an F and a G and a B flat and a C. Same four notes in reverse. C, B flat, G, F. Then, second part of the melody, the answering phrase starts the same way as the first part. F, G, B flat, C. Then, has a slightly different answer to it. It's E flat, C, D, D, C, D, C, B flat. What you want to do is try to figure out what harmonic context you can place with those individual melody notes. What we're going to use in this case is a fairly standard jazz chord progression, a 1, 6, 2, 5. So I take a 1 chord per note approach to it, and I find that I can place the F as the 5th of a B flat 6 9 chord. Then I take the G, and I put it over here so that I can play it as the top part of a G7 chord which is the 6th chord, actually winds up being the 5 of the next chord, the 5 of 2, because when I go from here to the B flat, that is the minor 7th of a C minor 7 chord, a 2 chord. And then up here to the last melody note that I'm dealing with right now, the C becomes the 5th of a F9. So for each melody note, each four, the first melody notes, I get a chord. Now I take the same four notes, except in reverse, as the next section of the melody, and I try to find chords that work with all of those as well. Winds up being that the first one in reverse, the C, is the minor 7th, the D minor 7, and then the B flat is one of the notes here of my D flat diminished chord, which works nicely going to the next note of the melody, the G, which in this case is the 5th of the C minor 7 chord that winds us back up at the F, and that's the root of the F7. So now I have eight chords to match my first eight notes. I start the same way with my answering phrase. Then I get my answering phrase that closes off the entire melodic statement. And I simply use a nine chord that I slide. Then I play the D as the nine of a C minor seven chord. And then the C and the D and the C is part of a F9. That makes an F13 and then F9. Then I wind up finally on a B flat 6 9 to close off the melodic statement. So now we've got a melody and we've got the chords, we've got the harmonic context. What you'll notice at this point is in order to add 
rhythmic motion to it in order to make it more active and sound like those spaces are being filled up, what we do is find a bass note to walk in between each chord so that rather than simply hearing which is really beautiful, sounds great by itself, it sounds even more jazzy, it makes a complete chord melody arrangement if you put bass notes that walk from chord to chord. So for example, getting from my B flat 6 9 to the G7, I might and then to the C minor, then to the F9. Now I can walk down to the next minor chord and then There's all kinds of other chord inversions and options that you should consider when doing something like this. Instead of walking one direction, you might go the other. So that when you get a complete arrangement happening, you have the same melody many times over, but dealt with each time in a slightly different way. So that you could, for example, play bare bones counterpoint first. Then play simply the chords. Then start to add those bass notes. Then you can do little fills or embellishments to the melody that either work in the same time frame or you can extend the given chords that you have so that you don't necessarily have to fall right when the melody note happens or right when that specific chord change happens you can put a little cadenza in there Once you get familiar with it, mapping out all those chords and the melody and bass notes, you can break into an up-tempo version of it. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hope that gives you a little bit more insight into chord, melody, jazz, style. Hope you try it yourself. It's a lot of fun.